Hey everyone, it's Susie, and I'm back with week three of the 12 weeks of Christmas. Um, this week is going to be gift cards. So, I found uh, a tutorial that I liked. Um, it is Creative Mars Cards. I hope I said that right. Um, but anyway, I am going to have her link to the tutorial in the description box. Now, in uh, on that video, in her description box, she has the measurements to which she used uh, to make her gift cards. I had to modify mine a little bit, and I'm going to have the modifications to where I put mine in, uh, in my description box. So, uh, it, it was just a, a little difference there for me, and she was doing hers, I believe, in centimeters, and was uh, changing over to, to the inches, uh, to our metric system there. Um, and anyway, I ended up having to do mine just a little bit different. So I will put these measurements in the description box. But the tutorial and the way I did it uh, is, is, is from her video. Uh, so anyway, she did an outstanding job. Um, these are really cute. I have some of these little bags that I had actually purchased from uh, Tuesday morning uh, when they had them in. And I thought, what a cute little bag even, you know, if you were going to sell them at the craft fairs or whatever. That's, they just look really pretty packaged. Uh, but anyway, I did um, three. No, I did four. And I believe that's what I got out of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper was three of them. I'm not sure I got four, but anyway, um, I think I got three out of one sheet, and then I had where I used the belly bands, and I made the fourth one here. So that's pretty good for one sheet of 12 by 12 paper to get you three, uh, three uh, gift card holders. Uh, these here, I'm not even sure what the, uh, the um, uh, oh gosh, I hate it when I get on camera and my mind just goes completely blank. Um, these were just uh, scrap uh, papers that I had, and I don't even know what the collection is called. Uh, easy way to use up your scraps is to do these little projects. So uh, this here, though, is from Kaiser Craft, which is right here. I purchased this because I think it is a new collection. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Um, anyway, I loved it so much in the kind of black and white and sepia tone that uh, I purchased it, so that is what these are made out of, is this K uh, Kaiser Crafts Christmas Edition paper. I'm going to make a Christmas journal out of this. I can't wait. Uh, it'll be on down the road, but I am going to make one out of that. So anyway, I'm going to start with these that have the belly band. And it's really super simple and super fan, uh, fun and quick. Uh, here, this was just in the sticker sheet that I had with um, this paper collection. So you could write on it here, you know, and then put your gift card here. How cute is that? You know, you could even, you could even, you know, put something along here if you wanted to. But, but anyway, this is the inside. Really super cute. And these take no time to make, guys. I mean, no time. So there's that one. Uh, this one is no L, and I did back it in some paper so that it wouldn't be sticky. This is off the stickers, and it wouldn't be sticky there. And then I just cut out the circle for the belly band. And then here is the inside of this one. Joy to the world. You could write your sentiment there. And, of course, put your gift card there. And the inside is snowman's. Be sure and use a double-sided paper if you want the print on the inside. And then here is the snowman. I did it different. This is off the same sheet of paper. And uh, I have Merry Christmas from the sticker sheet there. And there is that one. And then same way with uh, this present from the sticker sheet. I just backed it in some coffee stained paper, which you could use cardstock or anything so that nothing is sticky, you know. You want to be sure and back that. And then here is one more from the same paper. So you can get three out of one sheet of paper. Um, deck the halls is what I have there. Looks like I need to stick that down a little bit. Uh, and then, of course, your, and some of them I rounded or put the decorative punch here, and, and some of them I didn't. You know, this one here has got the decorative punch. You can kind of see it there. But this one I just left square. And then I made this uh, 
Joy to the world, peace on earth, goodwill towards men on my band there. And it just slips on. So anyway, those are real cute if you're just going to use um, double-sided paper there. Then these here, I wanted to make them more vintage, which is the look I like to go for. So I just got this hemp cord or hemp twine from Walmart. I like it because it's thinner than the regular twine. And then that just slips off. Check out these images, though. Is that not the cutest? I just backed it in some um, some craft card stock. Here is the inside, and uh, I've got blessings. And I'm not sure if this had a yeah it has it has a sticker sheet included. So I took this from the sticker sheet, and then of course here is the place for your for your uh, gift card. I did some stitching around this one, which I didn't on the others just because I want them to look a little more vintage. So there's that one. And then this one has, uh, it's either German. I think this is German. And then uh, I have backed it in some uh, craft card stock here. Of course, I sewed around everything on this too. And then uh, I've got warm wishes here. And of course, for you to write your sentiment. And there's your gift card. And then here is the, the last one. And this is just a vintage woman by a tinsel, well, by a Christmas tree with a lot of tinsel hanging off. There's some little gifts under there. Such a pretty image. And then, uh, of course, here's the back. And then here's the, it says Season's Greetings. But how cute is that? So anyway, I love my vintage ones. That, that's usually what the look that I'm trying to go for is the vintage. But anyway, there, there's week three of, uh, of my 12 weeks of Christmas. And like I said, I will be uh, putting her uh, link to the tutorial that I followed uh, in the description box below. And uh, anyway, I hope that you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching.